Good morning, Donna. Mike Prokopchuk here at Northland Nissan. So uh, I know you were talking to Sean a little bit this morning, and uh, you guys have kind of, well, you've come to a decision on an SUV, I do believe. So I have two different all-wheel drive SUVs here. I have a 2014 Rogue and a 2014 Pathfinder as well. Both of them are seven-seaters, both all-wheel drive, like I said, but um, I'm gonna just gonna go through both vehicles and I'm gonna show you just some of the features and what both of them have to offer. So let's start with the 2014 Rogue, white in color. It's got the LED accent lights, fog lights as well. It does have a block heater on it. Can't really see it. There it is. Now the 2014 is uh, the first year of the new redesigned Rogue. It's a much nicer look than it used to be. You got the LED lights on the side of the mirrors as well. It does have a roof rack on it also. Each, uh, each crossbar is capable of holding 100 pounds. So you can put up to 200 pounds on this roof rack. Let's open the door. We have uh, power windows and locks, power mirrors as well. Show you a couple other things. It does have traction control. You can lock your all wheel drive in has a sport mode in case you're looking for a little extra power on a highway and it also has a power lift gate. I can actually open the lift gate from back, well from up here, sorry. I'll just push the button, just prepare for later. So it does have a color uh, center display. We do have a uh, 7 inch monitor with, uh, it's all color, LCD, touch screen as well does have navigation you can go right to our map so wherever you need to go you can definitely get there without getting lost we have Sirius satellite radio and uh, we also have our 360 degree round view backup camera so it doesn't matter where you're backing into or backing out of you'll always be able to see all the way around the vehicle all the time we have dual climate control we have USB and auxiliary plug-in also 12 volt power as well Automatic transmission. We have heated seats. We also have our uh, awesome panoramic moonroof. You get an amazing view out of it. Looks uh, really nice at nighttime. We have a large glove compartment as well. I'll just go into the back seat for you. Show you a couple more things. So uh, here's the back seat, show off the uh, dark charcoal interior, which is uh, very nice. Does have a full down center console as well, in case you need a couple of cup holders. Or if you need to get a third passenger in the back, you just fold it up. So I'll just go into the back, show you a couple more things. So here are the two back seats, this is your third row, seat number six and seven. But uh, also if you need to get a little bit more room in the vehicle, in case you need to carry a little more cargo, it does fold flat as well. Which is also a pretty nice feature, just in, well, if you need a little bit extra room for a long travel or something like that. So this is the 2014 Rogue. I'll just show you the power lift gate, just push the button. It's going to close all by itself. Give you another look at it from the front, from the side, from the back. Let's move on to the 2014 Pathfinder. These are amazing vehicles. It's a step up in size, so it's a little bit bigger than the Rogue, of course. Still a seven-seater, like I mentioned. You get the fog lights. It does have a block heater as well. Open it up. Now this one, I'm sorry, it is fresh off the truck. So it is covered in plastic right now. I should have done this a little while ago. But just to be quick about it and give you a good idea. The, uh, the interior styling is a little bit different than the Rogue, of course, uh, also being the fact that it is bigger. You do have power windows and locks, power mirrors again. Traction control. You get a heated steering wheel in the Pathfinder. That's one option that doesn't come in the Rogue. you still got your power lift gate and uh, you got a tow mode as well. You, if you need to tow anything, the Pathfinder is a little more capable for towing. You can tow up to 5,000 pounds as opposed to the Rogue, which can only tow 1,500. And uh, you also get the color center display again. Color monitor, of course, but this one doesn't have satellite radio or navigation. But it does still have the backup camera, which is a really nice feature. And we have uh, heated seats, of course. 
the dual climate control. Just open up the center console for you. Now there is a USB plug-in down there as well as RCA plug-ins. So if you wanted to plug in a DVD player or something like that for kids on a long trip, no problem. So an automatic transmission, of course, and uh, it, you can drive it around in two-wheel drive. So you can leave it in two-wheel drive, 4x4 auto, or you can leave it locked in all-wheel drive all the time. Oh, and uh, push button start as well, as well as the Bluetooth controls, so you can talk hands-free on your cell phone and cruise control. The Rogue is the same. I'll just go into the back seat for a minute. So, showing you the back seat now. Sorry about the plastic still being everywhere, but uh, a little bit more room than the Rogue little bit taller seats it's just a little bit bigger in general so uh, you can still fold down the center console just in case you need a couple of cup holders no problem and uh, also the beautiful dark charcoal interior as well and uh, the back seat of the Rogue does have its own climate control something else that the Rogue does not have just open up the very back for you for a second Just a one touch and it opens all by itself. So here are the uh, third row seats for the Pathfinder. Um, everything is a little bit bigger in the Pathfinder so uh, you're going to notice that the, the third row has just a little bit more room than the Rogue does. See what I should have done, just showed you the seats here in the second row. The second row, it does slide. You have the, the ability to uh, slide it forward and back just to make uh, getting into the third row a little bit easier. You can also fold the second row flat as well, just in case you need to get a little bit more into the vehicle so you can fold the second and the third row flat. And uh, the seat will also pop up for you just in case you need to uh, get anybody into the third row, just to make uh, things a little bit easier. And another nice feature of the second row is it reclines. It's uh, something that's gonna be really nice for road trips. Just in case the kids wanna have a nap or something. So I'll just fold down third row here. It only takes a couple of seconds and uh, the seats are hidden and you can get whatever you need to get into the vehicle. And I'll also show you that there is a 12 volt power back here as well. So Donna, this is the uh, 2014 Pathfinder. Now I hope this video is going to help you just to show you some of the differences between the two vehicles. If you have any questions, you can give me or Sean a call, 250-981-1, sorry, that's my cell phone number, 250-561-8797. But if you do want to call or text my cell phone, if you have any questions, if that's easier for you, you can do that, 250-981. 1996. Now, uh, like I said, I really hope this video helps you. And if you have any objections or questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, Donna, and have a great day. Bye bye.